Hi, thank you for watching this video. My name is Paul Fisher and I'm currently chairman of the Laycock Art Group um, in uh, Wiltshire, UK. Laycock Art Group is a band of about 30 enthusiastic artists. Um, we meet once a week on a Thursday um, and if you want to see more of what we do, our exhibitions and demonstrations and so forth, then you can visit our website at www.laycockartgroup.com dot co dot uk the laycock is spelt l a c o c k this is a short demonstration i did for them about six months ago on the quick method for stretching watercolor paper for many years um, i didn't bother stretching uh, my watercolor paper i had tried to uh, but i found it uh, tedious you had to plan well ahead because you had to leave time for the paper to dry and so forth uh, but then I did a course with the Australian artist, Charles Slugger, and he showed us um, a quick way of doing it. So this is the method that he showed, uh, and which I now use all the time um, for my watercolour painting. Basically, um, what you need are pretty basic in terms of materials. The first thing you want is a stiff board which is about three and a half to five centimetres or bigger all round than the bit of paper you're going to stretch. This is a bit of uh, six millimetre plywood. Uh, you can use MDF. You can buy board as well. Uh, it's already been made for this. If the board you use is not stiff enough, what tends to happen is what you can see here with the paper stretched on top of a board which has gone banana shaped. Um, and in fact, you can, if I feel that, that's really, really tense there. Um, so it shows you that it, this quick method is pretty, pretty good at what it does. But obviously, as I say, you want a board which is a bit, uh, a bit thicker than that, a bit stiffer. So the, the board, you need um, some uh, gum strip, um, brown uh, sticky paper. I use the butterfly. Uh, brand in the UK, about three and a half centimetres wide. You need a paper towel, water and a large brush. Um, you can use a one and a half inch household painting brush, no reason why not. And finally um, you want a hairdryer. When I have stretched the paper uh, I also then uh, mark out where the painting is going to go. I sometimes forget to do that and so I mark out an area which is just a little bit bigger than the size of the aperture for the mount I'm going to use, um, for which obviously I use a pencil and uh, a tape measure. The first thing that we do is take the bit of paper and have it so that the reverse side is up um, and then take our brush, water and Slosh the water over generously. You want a good helping of water. I usually go around the edges first of all and then fill in. Look at the paper edge on to make sure that you've got it all covered. Turn it over. So we've now got the face side up, the side that I'm going to paint on uppermost. Do exactly the same so we're soaking the paper both sides this is a fairly small bit of paper really a small board but I have um, done this on half sheets and it seems to work pretty pretty well what I'm using here uh, paper wise is a 300 gram Bockingford um, not or cold pressed I have used it on lighter papers and it works okay. Heavier papers, going up to 400 grams and so forth, it's I suppose it's debatable really whether you, uh, you need to stretch at all, but um, if you're using big washers, it's always a good idea. Now, we need to let that soak for uh, three or four minutes at least, because it'll start to cockle. You can see at the edges here, there's a bit of cockling going on. Um, and we want to sort of straighten that out before we um, put the, the sticky tape down. So whilst that's drying, what I'm going to do is just tear myself off 
four bits of the gum paper tape. So two for the long edges and two for the short edges. Keep them separate. Nothing worse than sticking down a bit of shorter tape on a long edge. It tends to set panic off. So that's our tape prepared. Now, you can see perhaps that there is a slight hill, a cockle there. So what we do now is just use the brush to remove that. Just stretch the paper out a little bit. There we go. Get rid of that. Now, the next stage is quite crucial, quite important. We're going to put the tape onto the, um, onto the paper and onto the board. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge of the paper with a paper towel and just remove some of the, the water. If you don't do that, I find that um, the, there's too much water for the paper tape, sticky tape and it doesn't um, adhere very well. So, let's uh, stick the paper down using the same brush again, wet paper tape. It's a good idea to have a nice large surface to work on. Overlap the um, edge of the paper, the watercolour paper, by about a centimetre or a centimetre and a half. That's one edge done. Make sure it's all nice and firmly down. Do the same with the second piece of paper tape. same along the short edges. There's still a bit of a cockle there. I haven't got rid of all of it. Shouldn't matter though. Should be okay. And then the final bit of tape. Next stage is to dry it using the hairdryer. And the important thing to do is to dry the paper tape first. So that is stuck fast onto the board and onto the watercolour paper. Once you've done that, you can then start to dry the uh, paper working from the outside slowly around in a circle or a rectangle like that, working your way into the centre of the paper. So as I say, the first thing to do is to dry the brown paper um, sticky tape. That's the tape dry. Now I can do the same with the paper, working, as I say, from the outside in.
that's all nice and dry. The cockle's gone. Total process time, I don't know, five, six minutes or so. Um, finally, as I say, as I mentioned before, um, I just mark off where my aperture is going to come. Now I'm using a 30 by 20 centimeter aperture. So I'm going to mark there just on the outside of the 30 centimeter size and do the same for the 20. And then simply mark off roughly where the aperture is going to be. So often I find um, watercolour artists do their paper, put it down, start painting, forgetting about how they're going to mount it and frame it. So that part is, is quite essential to putting it down. And that's it. We're now ready to uh, start our painting. Um, so a nice quick process. When you take the paper off the board, when you've done your painting, uh, I cut with a scalpel all the way around. And you should hear, when you cut through one, two, maybe three edges, a slight ping as the tension is released on the paper, which shows you that the paper's been stretched uh, properly. And you should end up with a bit of paper with very, very few um, cur you know, curves or um, hills and valleys in it um, at all. Anyway, I hope that's been, thank uh, that's been um, helpful. Um, thank you for uh, watching and uh, good painting.